Hey everybody, it's Wayne Nichols here to give you an update on all of the covered calls I've sold so far during the first week of 2023. And you can see here, I'm off to a busy start. I wrote nearly 36 contracts, so selling covered calls 36 times in just the first few trading days of 2023. Now, if you guys saw my earlier video, I went in depth over what net premium is and what gross premium is. And it's really important because if you look at the upper right hand corner in green, you'll see that my total profits for this month is $3,987. But in reality, when you roll a position, as I have with several of these positions, uh, designated with the orange field, that really means you can't necessarily look at this number. You have to look at the net premium. And when you roll covered calls from the previous month, or in this case, the previous year, right, looks can be deceiving. So let's go ahead and take a look here at Starbucks. And you know, if you just looked at Starbucks, the covered call that I wrote on the 4th for a $100 strike price to expire in July of 2023, you would see here that I received $1,195 in premium. That's a great number. But that $1,195, you know, because it's a roll, you have to take into account, right? Well, what did I have to close out from the previous open position? So anything that you see in orange, designates that that position was open and I rolled right to another position. And when you roll a position, you are paying back a premium to close out the position and then simultaneously opening up a new position. Take a look at Starbucks, guys. If you looked at you know, every covered call I wrote for Starbucks, uh, Starbucks in the uh, year of 2022, I, I, I lost, right? I'm upside down $901. And it really starts here in June. Uh, Starbucks <clears throat> just got ahead of me on um, stock price and I had a cover call, you know, uh, where the strike price was 80 and it went above 80. So I rolled it to 81 and then I rolled it to 85. And then, you know, over the months, I'm at a 92.50 strike price and Starbucks continues to really dominate and go well above that strike price. So I don't want those shares called away. So I wrote the last covered call in 2022 for um a thousand bucks is what i received in premium but again it's all being rolled over so you can't look at the thousand dollars you have to look at the previous and it could be net loss or it could be in this case it was only a difference of three dollars that i earned from rolling it from that uh you know november position to the february position so i'm down 901 dollars total in all of the covered calls i wrote for starbucks and that's really important because again if you look at the first covered call of you know for starbucks in 2023 you would get the impression that i made 1195 dollars well you take that 1195 and you subtract it from uh obviously 901 dollars well clearly my profit on starbucks is is not 1195 dollars right it's this number minus my loss from the previous rolls and so that's why you really can't look at this 3987 number so what i'm going to do to keep it really simple is i think for these weekly updates i'm only going to focus on the uh, contracts that are closed. Meaning, if you take a look at the very first entry, I wrote a cover call for Apple and I received an opening premium of $32, but I was able to buy to close that position early. And that's going to be the most likely outcome you see with covered calls I'm writing in 2023, right? I wanna lock in that premium. You know, sometimes I shoot for 75%. Sometimes I might even be willing to, you know, sell a covered call and sell it if I can earn 50% premium. And it really comes down to what the stock is and it comes down to how early in the week am I able to close it out? Because Tesla, for example, I might write a covered call for Tesla on Monday. And by Tuesday, as you guys know, the uh, current stock value of Tesla continues to plummet uh, beginning even with uh, the first week of 2023. So if if I can lock in even 50% of that premium, open up another covered call, um, you know that allows me to earn more premium for that week, and I don't necessarily have to wait for Friday or whenever that covered call expires. But let's go ahead and just show you guys. I'm going to sort on this, and you know, just to keep things, you know, as non-confusing as possible, I want to go ahead and focus on all of the covered calls that I wrote during the first week of January that I was able to buy to close early, and give you that number. So you can see here, uh, 12 covered calls that I wrote out of the, you know, 30, I think six covered calls, I was able to close out 12 early, and in doing so, I netted. 
uh, a total premium for those 12 positions or those 12 contracts, $697, guys. So you can see, uh, no matter what happens with these other positions, I have locked in nearly $700 in profit. Now, everything you see here in white, these positions are currently open. So, you know, there's some good stuff that's uh, on deck for the next week, but I think what I'm gonna do to keep it really simple is just focus on the covered calls that technically uh, are done, right? They are not in contract, they're not open, and that way, I'm not having to explain, right? Well, you know, I earned this much, but really, you know, it's potentially at a loss or, you know, you got to look at net premium. So I'm excited, guys, to share uh, my progress with you. I think January is going to be a fantastic week. And I think what I'll do is after I look back on my January stats, I'm going to be able to give you what I think is an estimate of how much I can make in 2023. Now, now right now, guys, I'm one weekend. I don't want to commit to this, but I do think we are hovering right around fifty to sixty-five thousand dollars. That is how much I think, just based on the first week, this momentum. That is how much I think I'll be able to make in 2023. Could that number go up? Could it go down? Yeah. So stay tuned as I get closer uh, to the end of January. Again, we're only one weekend, so uh, I'll have a better idea of that estimate. And guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Got some great updates coming your way. We're not just talking about covered calls. We're not just talking about dividends. We're not talking about long, it's everything, right? So everything related to building that generational wealth. I hope you'll continue to follow and stick with me on this journey. Thank you guys very much. We'll see you on the next one.